Uh, in this video, we are going to learn how to solve this past PSLE math question, the so-called bookshelf problem. Bookshelf can either feed 30 big books or 40 small books. There are 5 big books and 18 small books on the shelf. What is the maximum number of big books that can be added? Right, so the first thing that we need to do is uh, since we are interested to find the number of big books right, uh, we have to convert the small books uh, into the equivalent big books right? so the big book to the small books <coughs> the ratio of their sizes is actually 30 is to 40 right? because the shelf is fixed right? so the number of books that can be fit inside uh, will depend on their sizes Right, so this can be further reduced or you know, simplified to 3 is to 4. Right, so what does this mean? This means that 4 small books right, is equivalent to 3 big books. Right, so now we can convert the 18 uh, small books right, into the equivalent number of the big books. Right, so here we have to find what one small uh, book uh, will represent so we have to take the three big books divided by the four small books then multiply that by 18 right I think we are going to get 13 point five big books right but of course we cannot have a point uh, uh, five um, uh, number of books right so this we have uh, to round it up to 14 big books Right. So now we can uh, say that currently there are 5 plus 14 big books or 19 right? since the shelf can only take 30 so 30 minus 19 is equal to 11 big books uh, It's practice time now, go to the link that is given below Right, go to this side, uh, click on the new problem button you will notice that the numbers used in the uh, problem are changed right? and um, check your answer but one last thing before I end uh, please take note that the problem actually changes alternate between the number of small books and the number of big books to be added right? you can see now it is big when I click it changes to small and then when I click again it changes to big Right, so take note of that. I suggest that you try out both to make sure that you really know how to solve this problem on your own. Okay, so have fun and thank you for listening.